Can you believe that former UFC champion Daniel Cormier will star in one of the biggest spinoffs ever made? The news was pretty unexpected, but wait until you find out the character he will be portraying on this new Warrior TV series. About Daniel Cormier's character. This news was first announced by director Gavin O'Connor while he was being interviewed by Discussing Film. The interview initially took place to celebrate O'Connor's 10th anniversary of his mixed martial arts film, Warrior. But O'Connor had other plans for the interview, and that was to announce that a television series spinoff of Warrior was being made, with former two-division UFC champion Daniel Cormier cast as the lead actor. Cormier is set to play as Bobby Watkins. It has recently been revealed that the character lives in Houston, Texas, and is struggling to provide for his family, who are suffering from massive financial problems. Watkins' main goal in life is to get his family out of poverty, so that he never gets to see them in that state again. The only way he figures out to achieve his goal is to become a professional mixed martial arts fighter. Daniel Cormier retired from fighting competitions in 2020, right after finishing a trilogy of bouts with opponent Stipe Miocic. However, the former UFC fighter hasn't fully disappeared from the limelight. In fact, he has remained highly active in the world of mixed martial arts, working as an analyst on ESPN and a commentator for the UFC. In this spinoff, O'Connor will serve as the director and executive producer with Adair Cole being the main writer of the storyline. The movie Warrior was released back in September 2011 and starred actors Tom Hardy, Joel Edgerton, and Nick Nolte. Upon its release, the movie didn't reach the success it had hoped for. This was because the film wasn't marketed properly, which led to people not being that interested to watch it. Warrior reached its success later on after it was made available on numerous streaming services. The movie finally reached worldwide success and received great reviews from viewers and critics alike. Tom Hardy and Joel Edgerton acted as the Conlon brothers, whose professional fighting paths get intertwined after they both find themselves fighting in the same tournament to win a million dollar prize. Nick Nolte, on the other hand, was nominated for an Academy Award for his flawless portrayal of the father's character in the movie. Movie. Besides the lead characters, former UFC fighters also made appearances throughout the movie, with them being Nate Marquardt, Anthony Johnson, pro wrestling star Kurt Angle, and Hoan Carnero. However, the spin-off TV series Warrior will not continue the story where it ended. It will probably not even involve the Conlon brothers or any of the other characters. Although, we are not so sure of that, because there has not been a full cast reveal for the series. O'Connor will also not make the same marketing mistake for a second time. According to the director, he is currently negotiating with Lionsgate Films to produce the spin-off off series with the streaming distribution. Everything you need to know about the Warrior TV series. Apart from revealing the fact that Daniel Cormier will play in the spin-off of Warrior, Gavin O'Connor has also revealed the plot and some extra details about the characters of the show. Because of the acclaim Warrior received throughout this decade, there have been many controversies around how the story continues. O'Connor had once announced that he might start a sequel of the movie, but due to its failed traction over the years, the movie was never made. When fans who thoroughly enjoyed O'Connor's way of mixing MMA with family drama, discovered that there was not going to be another movie, they were highly disappointed. However, they didn't fully lose hope that another movie would follow. And now, after a whole decade of struggling to create a sequel, O'Connor finally found a way to get this movie back on screen. During the interview with Discussing Film, O'Connor revealed that the spin-off series will revolve around four new fighters, two men and two women, which will compete in a tournament and strive for getting their name out there. Despite Daniel Cormier being the lead actor, the series will focus on the lives of all four fighters and the reason that they have chosen to become fighters in the first place. Additionally, O'Connor revealed some extra details on three of the lead actors in the series. First off, he did reveal that the majority of the casting crew has already been found, although they will not be revealed until the show is fully shot. Apart from Cormier's role, which we discussed earlier in this video, O'Connor talked about one of the female fighters. The woman, whose name is not made public yet, is a prisoner in a female prison in Dublin. The other female fighter is quite a controversial one. Although she is attracted only to other women, she is also a devoted Muslim, raised in a conservative family outside of Paris. Because her religion prohibits same-gender relationships and fighting, she keeps it a secret from her relatives and most of her friends. Now that many details of this spinoff are revealed, hopefully fans will get more information on how the series will unfold. Another thing that will also boost views on this show is the fact that in recent years, MMA-type shows have become really popular and in demand among viewers. Some of the most successful shows on Netflix and HBO are MMA-type shows such as Cobra Kai. It will be really interesting to see which streaming service will take the series, and hopefully, it will be a show worthy to watch. Warrior Review The spin-off might not really continue the story, however, it will have a resemblance with the movie. The movie had some deep messages that will definitely be present in the show version of the movie. For those of you that remember, Tommy Conlon returned back to his hometown in Pittsburgh after 14 years so he can become a part of the biggest mixed martial arts tournament. He then reconnects with his father, Paddy, who ended up trading him for the tournament. But the spin-off won't really focus on that part 
part of the film. In fact, the show will relate more to what happened to Tommy's brother, Brendan, who needs to return to fighting in order to help his family from bankruptcy. Gavin O'Connor's spinoff will focus on balancing the brutal action inside the ring with a fractured family drama that comes from lack of money. It will feature a performance from Daniel Cormier, who is making fans curious about whether he has good acting skills or not. Hopefully, Cormier will be as good at portraying his character as he was in the ring. And just like the movie it was based on, this upcoming series is entirely predictable sports series mechanics, but that doesn't mean it will be less enjoyable to watch. There are some differences between the movie and the spinoff, of course. The movie was entirely fictional, and the stories of the characters were all made up. However, the show version of Warrior will be mostly based on the lives of real UFC fighters. It will show the struggles that boxers face gaining recognition, and the sweat and blood it takes to stay relevant, as in MMA. Cormier's character is also created to be as relatable as possible to UFC fighters that chose MMA as a way to make quick money to support their family until they end up making their way to the top. On the other hand, the original storyline of Warrior mostly focuses on the two alienated siblings instead of their family and their success story. On one side, we have Brendan Conlon, who is in MMA just to make ends meet. Conlon has a humbler approach, focusing more on technique, and uses more submission and willpower to win the tournament. Since the lead character in the spinoff series resembles Brendan's side of the story more, he will most likely have his characteristics in trying to achieve victory in the ring. The other Conlon sibling, however, lives life on many different terms. Tommy Conlon has been absent from his hometown for over a decade after he left his family with his mother, but the movie enters a bit of a paradox when Tommy goes over to his problematic father to get trained as a fighter. Tommy is more of a sharp shock fighter who has a psychological and emotional problem because of the trauma he has experienced as a child. Being two different, very different characters, the brothers end up in a sort of interesting collision that makes viewers highly interested in finding out how the story ends. The brothers eventually face each other head-to-head -head in the tournament, which is quite expected because the movie wouldn't really make any sense without that happening. But as this clash between them happens, it's quite difficult to predict who will end up winning the tournament. The build-up to this moment provides a massively uplifting climax, which is expertly massaged by O'Connor throughout the entire film. The movie was a thrill to watch, even though viewers thought that it was going to lean more toward the obvious. The thing that made viewers wanting more of Warrior is the way it never focuses on one contestant, but rather shows both of the brothers' points of view, creating a sort of film division and placing the viewer's sympathy straight down the middle. So will you be watching this spinoff? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.